This video is brought to you by the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh, celebrating its 45th anniversary this year on March 11th, and you can stream the entire Winnie the Pooh collection right now on Disney+. Plus. Hey guys, this is Seb Sanford, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now you're in for a special treat because as I've already turned 22 at the end of January this year, and this is the one birthday present I was given uh, to make me feel happy, and it is a special GalaxyCon video where they're bringing the conventional experience directly to you. Uh, now, although I'm still on my sixth month break from the whole GalaxyCon virtual chat thing, um, this is just the one chat that I'm doing at the beginning of February. And as you guys saw last year, um, in early 2021, the second year of the pandemic, I got introduced to this whole GalaxyCon thing, and it all started off with an Instagram post on Jim Cummings, um, um, from Jim Cummings, actually, um, saying that he'll be taking some one-on-one -on -one video chats and personalized autographs during a Disney Aladdin live stream last year, back in March. And my Disney wish has come true, I finally met Jim Cummings, a.k.a. the voice of Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2. Oh, and this is the Winnie the Pooh I'm carrying with me right now. And what you're about to see right now, um, 11 months later, I'm finally going to be meeting Jim Cummings. This is actually my third time meeting Jim Cummings, and I've got a few more questions planned for him. Uh, I'm not going to say them all, but you'll probably find out sooner or later in the remainder of the video. By the time we reach around the summertime, around the month of June or July, I promise you I'll be back for like a season two of my GalaxyCon virtual chats for 2022, probably probably around the Raleigh weekend at the end of July this year. So if any of you guys are new here, hit that subscribe button, like the video, turn on those notifications so you don't miss out on new videos. And you can follow me on my Instagram page, the link is also in the description, as well as all the details to what GalaxyCon is about, as well as the link to the website at galaxycon.com. So with that said, um, sit back, relax, and enjoy my third virtual chat with my childhood hero and Disney voice acting legend, Jim Cummings. This one's for you, Jim. Hey, hey guys, there, before we get started, let me grab a photo if you'll give me a great big smile. Okay, let's do this. Got it, you're good to go. All oh, right. Gosh. Good to see you again, Jim. Yes, indeed. Oh. Yes, and I, and I see, I see you've got some familiar uh, artwork on the wall behind you. <laughs> um, uh, as I saw, as you saw last time, th this was, um, this was my brother's, um, piece of artwork that he did a couple of years ago. Yes. And, and on my right, I have your autographed snapshots uh, of yes. the two films. And I want to say thank you for making my 2021 a really good one. Oh, good, 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 good. Where, I mean, where, 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 where are you living, Seb? I'm I'm still living in the city of Bath in the UK. Um, Bath? Yes, the city of Bath. Oh yes. <laughs> I, where is I, that? I don't I don't know where. What what's the major city around there? It's in the Somerset area, I think. Uh, I think that's about all I can tell you. Oh okay. All righty. Okay, so let's get things started. Or should I say, let's get dangerous. Yes, As it says you on your t-shirt, I love it. <laughs> Are you hey, a Darkwing fan? Yes, I've seen the whole season on Disney Plus, and it's amazing. Oh, good. Excellent. Which? What was your favorite episode? It, it's hard to figure out which episode I liked, um, but I gotta say all of them. I should say all of them. Probably the one where you shrank down to the size of a mouse, I think. Maybe it was the oh, pilot. Yeah. Okay, I gotta ask you, who is your favorite villain? My favorite villain? Oh my gosh, there's too many of them. I wish I had the right answer. Yeah, well, I, I like Megabolt. <laughs> yeah, I'll stick with Megabolt. I'll stick yeah, with Megabolt. Yeah, and Negaduck, that's an easy one, but you know, he's like okay. the anti Darkwing. Yeah. And Did now, you ever it... notice that Negaduck has the same coloring of outfit as uh, Kid Flash? in the comic books if you've ever seen that yeah i think i have that's an anyway, old one yeah here's your first question using your best voice impressions 
can you describe each of the following characters in three words? I'll read the names out to you. First off, Pete from Mickey Mouse. Well, the thing about Pete is he's going to be elected father of the year. There's uh, no about it, doubt it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. And next, uh, Monterey Jack. Um, did I say the first name right? Monterey, Monterey Jack. Jack, yeah. Okay. Well, how I can't I can't talk about that not without a slice of cheese. Uh, I was just about to mention the slice of cheese. <laughs> Third, Darkwing Duck. Well, you know, Darkwing is the terror that flaps in the night, the winged scourge that pecks at your nightmares. I am Darkwing Duck. So yeah. let's get dangerous. Just like the quote on your T-shirt. Just like on my T-shirt. Yeah. Fourth, there was King Triton from Little Mermaid 3. Ariel, you must be a friend of Sebastian. <laughs> that might be me. Uh, not the singing. Yeah. And number so, yeah, five. Man. Number Who's five. Uh, number five, um, Tigger. How would you describe him in three words? Well, Tigger is a wonderful thing. You know, their tops are made out of rubber and their bottoms are made out of spring. <laughs> And, and yeah, finally, Tiggers, Tiggers are uh, now. What is favorite? What is Tigger's favorite pastime? I I really don't know the answer. What, to that. what would his favorite? Do you know what Tigger's favorite hobby would be? I'm probably bouncing twenty four seven around the hundred acre wood. That's right. Yeah. Good answer. Yeah. And finally, Winnie the Pooh. I'm sorry, I can't do poo unless you've got a smackerel of honey for me. Oh, I'm sure I can find some for you the next time we meet. <laughs> okay, well, next time, yeah. So, okay. uh, do you? Uh, uh, I don't know how things are are, are over there, but do uh, you think you'll be going to any Comic Con conventions in the uh, future? I I really haven't thought of that yet, but it would be awesome. Yeah. Do you, be... do you? Are there a lot of them over there nowadays? Um, I wish I knew because the last time I went to a convention, it was at. Uh, it was at a gaming convention in Birmingham with my school students. Yeah. Uh -huh. it Are, would be were you, were you and, born in England? Uh, I was. I was born in England, by raised by a Canadian family. Oh, yeah. My wife's Canadian. <sighs> yes, yes. Um, Wonderful we, people. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, um, this, the second question. Um, when I watched your D23 video on the Darkwing Duck quote, I was like, Wow, I couldn't believe how this guy has voiced so many characters and not just Pooh and Tigger. And how did you manage to change your voice for each animated character you have played? Like, did you have to improvise to help develop the character? Uh, sure, yeah. Well, you know, I, for me, I, um, you know, I started off uh, in, in plays as a kid. You know, I was probably in my first play when I was five or six or younger than 10 certainly and um you know i always i didn't want to be like the cute little kid next door blah 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 i wanted to be the weasel or the the gremlin that lived under the bridge or the the donkey or what, something you know <laughs> i didn't want to be i didn't want to be like a, a normal character i wanted to be the wizard or something like that so what for me you know it, Having said that, I, I would always want to assign a different voice. I wanted him to sound, you know, very wizardly or whatever, you know, that occurred to me. Uh, and so as a result, I was kind of doing research for the future, you know, the f career that I was going to have in the future because I, you know, each one of those characters had a, a different sound. They had a different voice. And... Um, and also, there was a, a uh, comedian uh, that had a TV show over here in America, and his name, he was a very famous guy, a long, long passed away. He was much older. His mm. name was Jack Benny, and uh, he had a show. It was a variety show. It was a comedy show. It was very funny. And there was a, a, a guy on the show, and he would always come out, and he would do different voices and, you know, stuff like that. And uh, and my dad, I remember I was five years old, 
and it was doing a skit in which uh, this man had a sombrero on and a serape, like a, a sort of a, a Mexican style jacket on over his suit coat. Yeah. So you knew he wasn't really from Mexico, but but he was talking like this, and he <laughs> said that his name was Sai. And, wow. And my and my dad says to me, he goes, um, now you see this guy right here? I said, yeah. He goes, his name is Mel Blank, and he does all the voices for all those cartoon characters you like to watch on Saturday morning, Doug Bugs Bunny, Tasmanian Devil, Daffy Duck, Sylvester the Cat. That's him. Wow. And all I could think of, yeah. And, and my dad said, that's all coming from this one guy. And I thought, wow. You know, I, be, I bet he doesn't have to stand in the corner for making weird sounds, <laughs> you know, so which I did. And um, so, so you know, it, it, I knew right then and there at the age of five that when I got older, I was going to do that. Wow. So, yeah. So I, I had my work cut out for me. I wasn't scratching my head like a lot of people. They get into college, they get all the way out of college, and they still mm -hmm. don't know what they want to do. So I, it was a, a blessing, you know. It was a fortunate thing for me, I think, you know, that that I uh, I knew what I wanted to do when when I was five, and so I did it. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. That's a really great story, there, Jim. And now onto the next question. Um, for you at Disney, as as you can tell by the sweatshirt I'm wearing, it's of Disneyland Paris. They're celebrating its 30th anniversary this year. Um, um, have you have you been to the Euro Disney in Paris before? No, no, I never have been. I never oh. even been to Paris. I'd love to go. <laughs> yeah, you have to check it out. Um, what that is once it's safe enough to travel. Oh, um, it's safe. <laughs> But, uh, are you guys uh, locked down with the? You're not locked down with this COVID um, silliness, no. are you? No, I didn't think so. Anyways, um, anyways, uh, across the border, like in the U the Disney parks in America, do you have a favorite Disney themed attraction? Whether it's a roller coaster or something much more of a quiet and calming type of attraction, like it's it's a small world. Well, it's definitely not. It's a small world, because that song will be in your head all day. Yeah. So, uh, and um, uh, I, I like the Winnie the Pooh ride. I like the ones I'm on. <laughs> and I like Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. Uh, wow. Hondo Onaka is my guy. And uh, it's kind of nice. I get to steal the Millennium Falcon about, uh, oh, I don't know, a few hundred times a day and take it for a spin. It's a lot of fun. It does stop, by like and, stop by and, uh, and I'll give you a free ride sometime. Definitely. Tell them, and, tell them what Hondo sent you. Yep. And and before we finish, there's I can tell by the time. Well, we have I have a couple of things I want to show you. Starting yes, from please. from small to big. I'm um, sure, starting sure. with Long John Silver from the Page Master. Oh yes. I remember him well. So do Very I. Nice. Yep, that's me. Good yeah. job. I don't know where you get these things. <laughs> yeah. And right here, I got this for Christmas last year. It's a Winnie the Pooh film cell that I got from my parents. Wow. That's and, wonderful. Yeah. And if you can see right here, I don't know if, if this is the right angle, but probably right here, you could see a film strip from Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Tree, uh, where Pooh is stuck right outside of Rabbit's front door. Oh, that's great, pal. Yeah. That's great. Good job. Yeah. Thank you. And that's really uh, cool. Out to the much bigger prize. Um, this was a gift for my aunt across the border, across the ocean. It's oh. from the long. It's very wow. big. That's a <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. Good for <laughs> you. That's a, that's a beauty. That last one's really something. Thank you. That's quite a collection you've got there. Definitely. <clears throat> Help by the time we're nearly out of time. So thank you, Jim, for making my evening. And yes. Be sure to keep us Disney fans in your life, like myself okay, included. Well. Uh, we all love you. And I'm gonna be really excited to see what you do next. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah. All right, Seb. So